Dragons were hoping to end a four-match losing run coming into this game against a much-changed Munster team out of the running for the playoffs and with a Heineken Cup semi-final against Claremont ahead. On a nice evening for rugby at Rodney Parade, it was Dragons who opened the scoring with a Tom Pridey penalty after Munster had been penalised for going off their feet at the Ruck. Pridey's best return with the boot all season was 18 points against Edinburgh in September and he'd go close to that tally in this game against an understrength Munster side. But the visitor struck almost immediately at the other end. Ian Keatley kicked crossfield. The Dragons didn't deal with it, allowing Johnny Murphy get over for the first try of the match with 12 minutes on the clock. Keatley missed the conversion before Pridey kicked another penalty for Dragons to leave them 6-5 ahead, 16 minutes in. Then at the midway point in the half, with Munster in possession towards halfway, the ball fell loose and Dragons charged downfield. Chavanga first, then Roebling and Wardle were all involved before Stephen Jones crossed over for the try. A well-worked score and Pridey had the simple task of converting to make it 13-5. Twenty-eight minutes in, Monster number eight Paddy Butler saw yellow for getting involved from an offside position. The Tipperary man was a long way from home, and the referee sent him to the sidelines for ten minutes. Pridey put the resultant penalty over to make it sixteen points to five. And it got better for the home side, well in control. And Stephen Jones had plenty of time under no pressure at all to put a drop goal over, leaving Dragons 19-5 up at the break. Pridey was on the mark with another successful kick after the break to extend the lead before Ronan O'Mahony went over for Munster's second try of the match just short of the arrow mark. Johnny Murphy with the killer pass. Good try, and Keatley missed the conversion, and it was 19-10. Munster's tails were up at this point, and in the 65th minute, CJ Stander made it try number three for the away side. After the ball was grounded, the two sets of players became familiar with each other with pushing and shoving the order of the day. Much ado about nothing, and the officials wisely let the temperature go down before continuing with the game. When things did die down, Keatley converted and Munster were back to within five points of Dragons. The Welsh side 22-17 ahead, plenty of time left. Despite having Damien Varley sent to the bin in the 66th minute, it was Munster who struck for the next try and a score that would see them go back in front with eight minutes remaining. Keatley, a central figure making the initial break, when his first pass didn't find its intended target, he changed tack, went back inside and found Murphy, who ran clear to the line. The man from Kildare's second try of the match and of the season. Keatley converted to see Munster 24-22 ahead. However, there was still time for late drama. Straight from the restart, Dragons showed intent. Toby Falatau's run was dynamic and set things up. He found Pridey, who made further ground. And when Lewis Roebling got the ball wide for Ross Wardle, the centre blasted for the line to score the match-winning try. The Cardiff man hasn't had much game time for Dragons this term, but this, his first try of the season, was a crucial one. Pridey added a penalty before the end for a 30 points to 24 victory. A welcome return to winning ways for the home side. Final score. Dragons 30, Monster 24.